Yo, what up guys, Babel is only three here, and I'm going to be testing out um some of the famous like tricks just like like the lobber and the roundabout tricks. But um as a matter of fact I might do something else too. Something else that might help you guys in like those speed running stuff. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so I'm pretty sure how to do the lobber and the roundabout trick is just, if you're playing Xbox One, if you're playing Xbox One, um, and like you don't have a PC just to hold the button, then all I gotta do is just keep spamming the switch button, as you can hear in the background. And I use the weed stone just to help me out a bit. Ooh. And just like that. Well, still, as you've seen, um, the weeds, no, I mean, not the weeds, no, uh, sorry. As you saw, um, the roundabout and the lobber actually helped me so, like, so fast that it got me close to the end and probably under, like, a minute or something. So that's how helpful the lobber and the roundabout is, but there is something else I need to show you. Hey guys, alright, so here's something that, here's a cool trick you could do with the, with the lobber. When an enemy is getting ready to come out of somewhere, or come out of an area, try using the lobber so then it can bounce up and then it will hit them by creating more damage to the character. And that makes it quicker to kill them. See like that? It helps. It's like using the lobber, but... I mean, I'm not sure how to explain it, but... Yeah, just like that. So, just like... And I will call it... The Lobber Trap. Pretty good name. So, as you can see, the lobber trap, once an enemy comes out right out of the cake, then once you flick the, the lobber up and down, it will start bouncing in the air, and most of them will stay alive, while some will disappear. And as the character is getting ready to come out, as soon as you know when he's going to come out, move away as fast as you can, and then the character will finally come out and then it will put out even more damage. Once he comes out of the lobber trap, just keep hitting him as much as you can and boom, he'll be done quickly. So yeah, thanks for watching. Well, as a matter of fact, no, I got something else to show you about the lobber and the roundabout trick. All right, so how to do the lobber and the roundabout trick. Well, if you were playing on PC, you would just have to hold the switch button and press the, well, shoot button. And that would actually be easy, right? And just like this on PC, again, hold the switch button and release. Or I think you just have to keep pressing it repeatedly. So with Xbox, all you have to do is just keep pressing the, hold the switch button and you will be shooting like a master. Just like this. It's not really that hard, but for most people, I don't know how they press it so fast, but hold on. I usually press it like this.
just like that. So, the roundabout in the lava trick isn't actually that hard, but it does really help you with your super meter and to attack the boss even faster. So, yeah, it's actually pretty fun and I use it all the time. But if you're using two player and one of the players are using the roundabout and the other is using the lava, it will not be as, well, powerful as it is because two player will weaken the characters like, you know what I'm talking about. So thanks for watching guys and I will see you guys later.